Tak. What's up, Zach? We're gonna see if Kai comes on. I mean, uh, Zach. I mean, uh. Uh, Gavin and Kaya come on real quick before we get started. Yep, I'll be at Riverstone all week, bud. What's up, Gavin? Zara, crazy girl. Hi, Miss Zara. Hi, Zara. How's it going? It's good to see you, Zara. Hey, Smith, I meant to tell you on Friday, I logged on. I must have logged on right after you logged off. Logged on right after you logged off. I was trying to get to a place where I could log on, and I I hadn't seen that Gavin logged on, so I got onto the Zoom link, and it was like five after or something like that, and it popped up that you guys had been on that I I didn't see you, so I must have just missed you. Sorry about that on Friday. Oh, I, I mean, we were gone. gone. Ready for it? Yeah, we knew you were gone, so we figured you didn't get reception or something. Yeah. Sorry about that. No worries. All right, guys. Zara, are you going to do the warm up today? All right, guys, let's get up on our feet. One, two jumping jacks. Ready? Begin. Thank 
your left knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, two, switch. One, two, three. guys. Our takedown today, we're working from a grappling stance. If you have a collar kind of stance, we're going to pull them to this just to get them to square their stance. I'm going to palm them underneath to get to the clinch position. My ear will be listening to their heart. I'll pull their body into me as my feet come together. Then my front foot is going to come in between their legs as I put my knee on the ground to drive and then take them down. After I take them down, my head is going to drop to the ground and I'm going to jump over their legs to the opposite side of my head before they can close their guard. Okay. So as soon as I take them down, my head goes with them. I jump my legs over their legs. Okay. Opposite side of my head. Kind of like I'm doing a headstand. So again, from this grappling stance, judo grips, you know, pull. Under hooking into my clinch, hold them into me, feet come together, move my knee to the ground as I drive, head goes down, jump, my feet over to the side. All right, let's try it out, guys. One, two, three. Inside trip, Gavin. So you forgot to pull that foot forward, right? Now drive. Drive with your hip. Smith will watch your head. Now, Gavin, put your head down and then hop over your mom's legs. You would hop to the right. Yeah, you would jump to the right. matter, Gavin?
Yeah, Zach, I'll show it again. Head down, Gavin. Now jump. Yeah, there you go. So watch, Zach. What we're doing is, is off of the judo grips, we're pulling them just so we can get them to square their stance. I don't want their foot back. So I'm going to pull them to me just to get them to step. After that, I'm going to pummel my hand underneath. I'm going to lock my hands behind their back. I'm pulling them into me. My ear is going to be on their chest. My feet step together. Then my front foot goes behind their leg and my knee goes to the ground. I drive into them, taking them down. As soon as they fall, my head hits and I jump to the other side of their legs. It's an inside trip with, their, with your knee on the ground. Gavin's got the clinch, trip, head down, jump, Gavin. There you go. So Zach, the problem that you're gonna run into is the, nice Gavin, is the putting your knee on the ground part. You really need the other person is kind of like a counterweight to make that happen without like slamming your knee down. So if you have to put your left hand down on the ground to get your right knee down there, that's okay. You really, so Gavin, you need to be in a clinch high. There you go. Now, yes, yep, there you go. Drive, Gavin, you can't be leaning backwards. You gotta go forward. There you go, now hop. There you go. Just make sure that you keep leaning forward when you get to that clinch, Gavin, if you're leaning back at all, then you're going to end up mounted. There you go. And just keep pressing forward now, Gavin. Yes, there you go. Hop. Zara. Now jump your leg, Zara. Put your feet down, Gavin. There you go. Good job, Zara. All right, guys, we're going to work on the second position. Okay. The second position is an arm bar from the closed guard. Okay, so when I have them in my closed guard, their hands are going to be either on my waist or on my biceps. Probably not on my biceps, they're probably going to have their hands on my waist. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab onto the sleeve of their lapel with both of my hands. From this position, I'm going to lift the hips up and then pop their hand off my belly and pull it across my body. From here, I'm going to reach over the top of their arm but I'm gonna grab on the back side of their tricep, okay? From here, I'm gonna take my hand that was on their sleeve and it's gonna reach across to their shoulder or their armpit. And I'm gonna pull them down on top of their own arm. The same side arm that I'm attacking that foot's gonna go on the hip, I'm gonna turn my body so I'm looking down their arm into their ear. Now I'll be able to put my leg on the other side of the head their backside arm is going to be sticking through my arms, and both of their arms are going to be towards me. Okay? From here, I lock my legs down, slowly lift my hips from the arm bar. Okay? So again, I'm going to take both hands on that sleeve, lift my hips up in the air, pop that hand off my abdomen, pulling it across my shoulder, and then over the top of my arm, lacing, grabbing behind their tricep. My hand's gonna cross and grab their shoulder, pulling them down on top. That same side leg, which is probably gonna be my left leg, is gonna go onto their hip crease. And I'm gonna push my head to the side as I bring my other leg up their back. I should be looking down their arm to their ear, just like I'm looking at you. Their elbow should be on my belly button. Now I'm gonna slide my leg on the other side of their head. 
My bottom should be on the ground, both cheeks, and my back should be on the ground. Legs straight, just like this. Hard down the middle. From here, I put my feet down, I put my hips up, and the arms on. Let's try it out, guys. One, two, three. Hello, Miss Zara. Zach, if you still have your training dummy, you can try to use that, but otherwise you're going to have to pretend just like what I did. Gavin, Gavin, you need the other arm in there. You need your mom's left arm. So Gavin, all right, now take your right hand and reach it across to her bicep. Yeah. Now bring your right leg up her back and bring your head over here towards me, Gavin. Yep, right leg up her back. You're gonna make your mom face towards the bed and you're gonna have, no, this way, the opposite of that. Opposite of that, bring your head towards me. Uh-uh, 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 you had it right the first time. Put your left foot on her hip and your right leg is going up her back. You're not gonna be able to see me. You're gonna be, look, Gavin, Gavin, Gavin. Go back. What the problem is, is you're trying to look at me. Okay. No. Go back how you were. Now, put your left foot on her hip. Take your left hand and grab across onto her shoulder and pull her down to you. Yes. Now bring your right leg up her back. So you're going to be looking at that door. You're going to be facing on your back like I am looking at that door. Yeah, now your left leg is going to go over her head without kicking her in the face. Yeah, that's the arm bar. But you got to keep both of your butt cheeks on the ground and your back on the ground. Be careful. Don't hurt your mama. There you go. Careful. Now turn her thumb up. Turn her thumb up in the air. Yep. And then bring her, your, her hand to your chest. There you go. Hey, she tapped. See you guys later. Come here, Kenzie. Yeah, come here, Gavin. I got a, I got a partner now. So watch. Two hands are going to grab that sleeve. I lift my hands up and I pull her on the cross. Same thing that you were doing. Now my right hand is going to reach across and grab her tricep. Same thing that you were doing. Now my left hand is going to grab across and grab onto her shoulder and pull her down on top of her own arm. My left foot, again, is going on her hip. Now, what you were doing is getting confused on what side to go to. Your right leg is coming up her back. Look, I'm looking down her arm. My left foot's still on the hip. Now we can come on the other side of the head. Both of my butt cheeks and all of my back is on the ground. So now I can grab her wrist, pinch my knees, and lift my hips. Watch, I should be able to take my leg on the other side of her head and go right back to the center too. Okay, so think about that hand on your on your body. You're gonna reach across to help bring it down so it's easier to get your leg on the other side of their head so you don't kick it in the face. Foot goes on their hip to help push your head over here as you bring your leg up to their back. Now you can just lift your leg over, keep their thumb in the air for the arm lock. Try it out, bud. One, two, three. Thanks, Coach Kenzie. Coach Kenzie's great, guys. Gavin, I can't wait for you to meet her. Yeah, now, Gavin, your right leg goes up mom's back. Yep. Yep. Now, don't kick her in the face and bring your left leg on the other side of her head. There you go. That's the arm bar right there. Make sure her thumb's up in the air. Make sure her thumb, yep. Pinch your knees. Yep. Yeah. Careful, bud. 
get your mom's arm extended. There you go, let it go. Hi, Zara. What's up, Ms. Zara? There you go, Zara. Put your leg over now. There you go. Get him, Zara. Get him, Zara. You get a tap on her, Gavin. Good job, Zara. Good job. All right, guys, great job today. We're gonna call it for today. I'm gonna put this thing on YouTube from this class today as soon as we're done, okay, guys? I know it's kind of a crazy class because I'm by myself this week, but we got through it. You guys did an awesome, awesome job. Um, I tried to message Kyan to let him know, but I couldn't get, get to him on Facebook Messenger, so I gotta try to find him somehow and email him and let him know that it's 4.30 this week. But I will see you guys tomorrow, okay? Wait. Are we doing Tuesday and Thursday this week? Smitha? Okay, Zach, it's only Tuesday and Thursday this week, okay? So the next class we're gonna do is gonna be on Thursday, okay? Thumbs up. All right, bud. So Thursday is the next class. I'll let Andrew and Jake know too, but Thursday is the next class. Okay, guys, I'll see you guys on Thursday. Have an awesome night. Bye, Ms. Zara. See you later, sweetie. Bye, guys. See you guys later. Thanks for being so patient, guys.